Hey guys, it's Onage and the Apex Legends Season 12 patch notes has released early. Uh, looks like Press got access to these uh, patch notes. Um, they got their hands on it first. This has just been published today. So I'm going to be sharing this with you guys and at the end I'll do a summary and we can share our thoughts and opinions um, in the comments. You know, what, what are we most looking forward to from this? And apparently crypto is receiving a buff. So there's some big stuff going on. So I'm going to read all of this as fast as I can. If, you, if you're going to enjoy, leave a like. Everything helps tremendously to get into the algorithm. Subscribe with notifications if you're brand new as well. Please and thank you. Join the best army on YouTube for Apex content, the Ownage Army. You won't regret it. And here we go. Let's jump straight in. So Apex Legends Season 12 buffs crypto and he might finally be good as the title. And they're shocked as well. I'm pretty shocked because it's about time. So Apex Legends Season 12 Defiance is round the corner corner starts february 8th so in seven days and of, of course we already know mad maggie new legend we're getting changes to olympus we're getting a new limited time game mode nine versus nine control to kick off apex legends and we're also getting a year three anniversary collection event and hopefully we get some heirloom shards we'll have to see what happens with that so as per usual the new season will introduce a patch that makes substantial balancing adjustments to characters weapons and hop-ups with the most noteworthy change being to crypto who is getting a fairly impressive buff to his ability kit um, he's not the only one getting rebalanced, however. Season 12 will also nerf Caustic. Interesting. Reshuffle ground loot, adjust a few different weapons, and reintroduce one of Apex Legends' most powerful weapon hop-up attachments. Ooh, what's that? I'm interested to find out. So that's really interesting. So um, Caustic will get nerfed, what, what we just got from this paragraph, and Crypto will get a, a, a buff finally. It's been so long. So shout out to the Crypto mains out there. This is going to be very exciting for you guys. So character changes, we go, we move on swiftly. Uh, though the Apex Legends Season 12 patch notes will detail the specifics, Respawn has shared the broader strokes of what fo uh, us gamers basically can expect regarding character adjustments. So in relation to Crypto, um, the buff to crypto is the most appreciated takeaway, though Caustic's nerf is a welcome sight too, as it should help the trapper feel more like an actual trapper as opposed to a useful legend for making bunkers, which is the job of Watson and Rampart. So here we have a detailed description of what crypto's buff will be. So at a preview event for season 12, Apex Legends live balance designer John Larson detailed what players can expect regarding the buff to crypto. And he said here, with a versatile drone and powerful ultimate ability, crypto has never been weak per se, which is true. Uh, he, he then goes on to say the goal of these changes is to make crypto more active. Up until this point, crypto gameplay lives in one of two places, in or out of drone mode. Though uh, These changes make that less binary and have more options for skill expression than the, that stays on brand for the surveillance expert of the Outlands. So starting in season 12, crypto will be able to manually control his drone, uh, will be able to manually control his drone hack as he always has, or toss it out in a straight line. Oh, okay, when tossed, hack will fly in the direction thrown, ultimately stopping after a set distance and scanning any enemies that are caught in its view. It's basically a slower, less comprehensive bloodhound scan. Additionally, if in range of a wall object or ceiling, crypto can toss hack at it and have his drone latch onto the surface as a stationary webcam, which should prove useful when defending a room with multiple entrances. Wow, okay, that's, I was not expecting him to do that. I thought they were going to make it, I thought they were going to make it so his drone follows him around. So he can now, from season 12, he can toss his uh, hack ultimate and it scans enemies caught in its view. So that's really cool. Uh, in short, these adjustments address the most prominent issue with Crypto's kit in that while he's using his drone, he's ill-equipped for assisting his allies. That's so true on the front lines with an aggressive push. This change should fix that Crypto mains can still pilot his drone for more comprehensive coverage of an area. But they can, they can also now just quickly toss out hack to scan the immediate area in front of them if their squad is pushing an attack. If Crypto's ultimate ability is charged, it basically gives them an EMP grenade to throw forward as well. That's actually so cool. Um, that's going to help a lot. I can definitely see that being a great improvement. Um, because, yeah, like they said in this um, article, and everyone knows, I mean, Crypto right now in his current state, he's very, um, he's just not useful to help his allies because when he's 
on that drone he's doing everything manually nothing's automatic so there's going to be an automatic element from now with his ultimate because he can throw it so that's really cool uh we're cogniz cognizant of strengths in the right hands and still believe that manually piloting the drone is crypto's primary source of intel larson said we've added a ton of hud improvements so that he isn't sacrificing any game crucial information while in drone mode cool so now we move on to caustic by the way guys we're not getting the full patch notes here we're just getting like a, a sneak peek so regarding caustic's nerf larson said something we've dialed in on is that caustic's kit affords him some versatility that traditionally defensive characters struggle with as everyone's favorite toxic trapper it was mo it was important for us to make sure he maintains that differentiation from watson or rampart those two create presence with highly visible tactical abilities communicating i'm here stay out Caustic's a little more devious and that's okay as long as victims feel like they have a fighting chance so yeah I agree uh, Caustic is strong I've been using him a lot in ranked and I've literally been winning my ranked game just because I've been playing Caustic with my friends so I know how powerful Caustic is so I, I guess it was needed so to continue Larson noted that Caustic's tactical ability is overwhelmingly useful uh, I agree though its purpose is to be a trap its durability makes it useful for, for a variety of situations as the game has evolved we've seen a massive amount of use cases for a single trap larson said it has a quick deployment it doesn't require much precision it can be used offensively to siege a room defensively when on the run or camping out in a building and once it's detonated it provides over 10 seconds of visual and even physical cover that's once again so true and I'm, I'm in a way i'm kind of upset like they've noticed all these uh powerful aspects of caustic because i recently just started using caustic and discovered myself how powerful this legend really is so uh, i guess it's a shame for me in a way but it is what it is to account for that season 12 is changing caustic's traps so that they're no longer invincible upon activation teams can now shoot and destroy an activated trap which should help them escape a trap they've already sprung or, or stop a caustic from bunkering down and easily locking down all the entrances to a building with his tra with his trap so he won't be as good in season 12 guys uh, according to larson caustic main shouldn't have to worry too much about this nerf it's principally designed to give opponents a fighting chance in that now players can choose to respond to an activated trap by spending ammo to destroy it as opposed to before where the only choice to overcome an activated trap was to run away until the trap dissipated um even with the nerf however respawn has found caustic traps to still be quite strong in eternal playtest okay that's interesting um additionally when a trap is destroyed the gas it has emitted briefly lingers in the air affording caustic and his allies a window of visual cover to prepare for an attacking squad okay so so like there'll still be a little bit of gas if a trap is destroyed um <clears throat> So moving on to weapon changes here, ladies and gentlemen. So quite a few weapon and hop-up attachment changes are in store for Season 12. Um, getting the obvious out of the way, there are no new weapons for Season 12. Yep, that is obvious. We've not seen any weapon confirmed. After getting the 30-30 repeater, the bow check, compound bow, rampage, LMG, and car SMG in back-to-back -back seasons in year 3, Apex Legends' fourth year is kicking off without a new firearm to learn. Which is which is uh, it's good because we don't want too many weapons. Um... In terms of care packages, the alternate SMG is rotating out and, and returning to ground loot, which some people with a good eye for detail have already noticed, including myself. So they go on to say, which means no more disrupt around hop up, which is a shame because that thing destroyed people. But I'm kind of glad it's gone because it's annoying. Uh, in its place, the Vault SMG is rotating into care packages. No way. Which means you'll no longer be able to find the energy ammo submachine gun. Oh, that's literally my favorite weapon. Arguably my favorite weapon. And that's going in the care package. That's not the only firearm leaving ground loot either. Both the VK-47 flatline and longbow DMR are being placed into replicators during season 12. Into replicators? Why? That's really strange. I don't know. I don't know if I'm a fan of that, to be honest. Uh, that means you won't be able to find either gun on the ground or in care packages. You'll only be able to use them by collecting materials and crafting them or by looting them off a corpse. Okay i mean i can see that i can see that being a good thing because like sometimes you never find those weapons so like it'll be guaranteed to be in the replicator all the time so throughout the whole season those two guns are going to be in there i never thought they would do something like that uh they do come with some ammo so be able so you'll be able to start fighting right away apex legends lead weapons designer eric can canavese said at the preview this does a couple of things for us the first thing is that it improves the consistency at which you can run with these two weapons you know static locations in the world where you can just go and find them 
but it also frees up some room on the floor, gives us a little bit of breathing room for the rest of the loot. Oh yeah, I didn't think about that, that's true as well. And that's really good so that you can more accurately target weapons you're looking for, uh, your loadout without having to sift through a bunch of different weapons. Yeah, because that way two guns are gonna be removed completely from the floor. So there'll be hopefully some better uh, weapons. And I think at the beginning they said they're changing the weapon uh, pool, maybe making it better so we don't just see P2020 and Mozambique everywhere. Um, for hop-up attachment, season 12 sees the return of hammer point rounds. No way! It's coming back! A devastating attachment for sidearms that make them stronger against unshielded targets. Previously only able to attach to the P2020 and Mozambique. And oh no way, dude! Hammer points will now also be able to attach to the RE45! Which sounds terrifyingly overpowered. Yeah, that sounds very strong. There's no way they're doing that. What? That has to be the title of this video. It's absolutely ter ter terrifying. The dev said, Hammer Point is traditionally on slower rate of fire semi-automatic weapons. The Mozambique is automatic, but it's pretty slow. So we're really cautious to see how it changes everything up. And the RE45 definitely deserves some time in the spotlight. Yeah, because we've never seen that gun being used. I'd never see someone use that weapon. It's probably dropped as much as the P2020. It just doesn't tra transition very well. It doesn't really have the oomph to take it into the end game. So I would say that it would probably stand up uh, stand up next to the RE45 with disrupt rounds, but not quite at that level. Uh, a much more tem uh, tempered version because let's face it, season two disrupt rounds were absurd. Yes, I remember playing the game when that was around. It was absurd. Uh, so it's a little bit more in line with the meta that we have right now and Shatter Capsule also changed season 12 instead of being a toggle uh, putting this hop up on the 30-30 repeater or bow check compound bow will cause these precision weapons to change to shotgun like spread when firing from the hip returning to precision fire when aiming down sights. And season 12 adds a brand new hop up to Apex Legends as well called Kinetic Feeder. This hop up can go on the Peacekeeper shotgun or triple take. When it's attached, the kinetic feeder activates while you're sliding, taking ammo from your inventory and loading it into the chamber of the peacekeeper or triple take and shortening the amount of time needed to choke either firearm for a more precise shot. Ooh, that's nice. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I don't want to make this video too long. That is the end. Please let me know what you think. I'm very shocked that RE45 is getting that hop up. Um, that's going to be so terrifying, just like they said. And Corsic's getting a nerf, Crypto's getting a buff, some really nice changes, new hop up, all that good stuff. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, once again, leave a like if you enjoyed. It really helps the video to grow, get into that algorithm. Subscribe if you are new, super important. There's a lot of season 12 content around the corner that I'm going to be covering, including that 9v9 uh, game mode, Mad Maggie gameplay, all that good stuff, Olympus changes, I'll be, cover I'll be covering everything. So thank you so much, have a wonderful day, and I'll catch you legends in my next Apex Legends upload. Take care.